This may look terrible in the end. That's what I'm worried about. Now, I could have wasted an entire weekend. Nope. Not using that one. Back to the drawing board. Hey everybody. Out in the bus today. Plan for today is to get this shelf. It's gonna run from the front corner here by the by the passenger seat all the way to right where the bedroom starts. So I think we'll start it here, end it here at this seam. What I noticed though is I was going to mount it underneath here just for simplicity, but this when I put that in there, I butted it right up against that. So I'm going to have to go on top of that right along the bottom edge of this, which is fine. It doesn't really change much. Um, yeah. So Christina is working on the window coverings. So our idea of putting them in here, it's just not going to work out like we had it planned. So whatever, we lose in three quarters of an inch of space across the bus. It doesn't really matter in the long run. So she's working on some Roman blinds. Hopefully they work out nice. So that just means I'll have to probably figure out what to do here. I'll figure it out. But I'm gonna do this shelf. I bought some three quarter inch plywood. I'm gonna just run it across and I'm gonna brace it just with little triangle braces, 90 degree braces and just screw it in and hope it doesn't fall out. So let's get this plywood out of the truck and get started on it. Okay, I'm gonna be doing these shelves 12 inches deep. So we're gonna set our saw up here. 12 inches, my neighbor's got it. His skid steer out cleaning up his yard here. Excuse the noise. All right, there we go. There we go. Number one. Okay, that is just gonna sit right up there like that. And hopefully straight, hopefully. I can always adjust, do what I need to, but that's gonna be it. It's a little bit warped, I can make it straighter. All right, I'm back out in the garage. I'm gonna work on this shelf. I bought different hangers. I have no idea where I put them. There we go. <laughs> in the box. Okay. Oops. That's up. How about these? They'll go this way. That's on the, on the wall. This wall. Um, I don't think these screws are going to be enough, so I bought heavy, thicker screws. And I'm just going to mount them right on the edge. I'll take a piece of three-quarter plywood and put it here just so that I can get the placing right there and then I'll put them up and I know it's a little bit bowed so I'll try and straighten that out as I go. I've got four for the long one and there'll be a shorter section that'll be three and I bought number 10 by three quarter inch long screws. So the ones that come with it are well they're too long to start with. There's some that are smaller but they're not thick enough so they're not going to bite enough to hold anything. If I need to I can buy more of these and put underneath as well, but I'm only going to do that if I need to. So for now, let's just get going on this. Find my knife, fancy little one, and I'll get the placement of these where I want them. So I'm going to want one at the end, one at the end. And then, hmm, I think I'm gonna go three feet, six feet. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remark that three feet 
and six feet that'll give me some weight carried in the middle and it still be fairly evenly spaced here comes my helper okay gonna fast forward from here Okay, put it back up there. And hang on. Pull the wire out of there. Okay. Come my way just a bit. Oh, too far. Right there. Well, I'm not gonna go all the way in with the drill. Okay. Can you gotta go lift it up just a bit? Gotta go right about there. Okay. Good. Now it's got to come down so that it's pull it right down tight to there. Good, yeah, that's perfect. The board is a little bit warped, so that straightened it out. Nice, perfect. Cool, very cool. Okay, now before I get carried away. Put my shoes back on. I didn't want to step, huh? Important. It's important, yeah. I didn't want to step on anything with sweat, snowy shoes. Yeah. So, okay, so shelf is up there. I think it looks all right. I think it looks fairly level. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, the edges here I'm going to cover with veneer, and I'm going to make a little about two inch high little dowel little posting little post wall kind of thing start right there and just go all the way down so now we come down to this end and i just got to put one more from here from there right to the end of here so it'll come just slightly over the bed and then it'll be all cabinets in the back here will be all cabinets that i'll be building a little bit different than what i built in the front there it'll be a little bit different i think yeah anyway we're going to measure this piece go cut it put the uh hangers on it and then bring it in For that top piece to keep the boards from shifting, I'm just using a piece of quarter inch that was a piece of practice trim. Uh, it's inch and a half by quarter thick. I'm just gonna cut, I don't know, three or so, I'm, I'm just eyeballing it. Just gonna cut a chunk off of it. And then I'm gonna drill four holes, two and two, or here and here, I imagine, just to hold that so that the boards don't shift. And then I'm just going to screw them down with the same screws that I just used, and it should be good. Can you run and get the screws for me? Yeah. So while Michaela's getting the screws, I can kind of explain what I'm going to do for a ledge, or for the edge. I've got all the dowels left over, the pieces of dowel that we cut off for the, for the Roman, Roman blinds that Christina's making. 
And I'm just gonna drill down about, I don't know, halfway through this three quarter and then I'm gonna glue them in. It'll be about that high. And then there'll be a top board along it as well. And that'll be the ledge. Just glue it in. So I'll peel this back with the screws. I need four. Oh. And I've put this, centered it across the seam, not right at the edge because that's going to that's gonna get in the way of the ledge that I make, so fair, you know, up against the bracket is where I put it, so. And this will hold it from shifting. Solid piece. Done for now. You probably noticed me moving these wires out of the way earlier. There's going to be lights through one here, one here, and then maybe a third one. I don't know. Two for sure. Lights over top of the couch. I might do three. I might do one here, one here, one here. Just where there'd be people sitting. And that'll give you, if you're reading or something like that. So that's what that's for. And there'll be switches underneath you can grab them too. That's that for now. Okay, we're back in the bus. And I bought this piece of, basically it's a banister for your stairway. And this is what I'm gonna use up in here for the, uh, the, the rail along here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up a little bit and go ahead and drill some holes in there and in here and then put some dowels in it and bring it up. Maybe a couple more inches, maybe that high. It is a bit warped. It was the best one they had. I will, when I glue it down, because I'll put dowels and it'll get glued down and I will clamp it. And that should work out pretty good. And then I'll veneer this, but I think, I think this is going to work out really nice. All right, well, I've hit a snag. My entire plan, which you probably didn't see because I'm probably going to cut it out. Let me put my tools down. My entire plan of using, here, let me show you. This system here, dowels coming apart it's just not gonna look good without looking like crap so I'm not gonna do it I don't want I don't want everything in the bus to look like a hatchet job so I'm not gonna do it disappointing because I've spent hours I mean hours putting this all together drilling the holes buying a couple special tools to do it cutting up all the dowels and now I'm I'm disappointed so but hey, these things don't always work. So I've got a new attack. So what I gotta do now is cut all those dowels off and smooth it all out. And that's just gonna get stapled into the shelf from the underside because that's the way it's gonna have to be. Anyway, I'm on that now. here in the corner of this one. It's probably going to take quite a few staples to hold this thing tight, but I've got lots. Let's just see here. Yeah. I 
I think this might work out okay. I'm gonna have to I think that'll be okay. All right. Well, let's put it on here and see what happens. Get the clamps off it, see if it's gonna hold. Yeah. You know what? I think that, I think that'll be okay. We'll see what we think of it as we're going. So, okay, uh, this piece, when I measured it, I measured it to the end of the board, forgetting about Mr. Uh, bracket that's in the way there. So I'm going to have to take off a little bit. So I'm gonna, Not even half an inch. It's like a quarter. I'm gonna take a quarter inch off of this end. Just gonna mark it here. I'm gonna go hit the saw, take a quarter inch off this end, and then staple this into place. And we should be good to go, and then I can put the veneer on. Okay, so what I've got here is uh, pine veneer. It's uh, 13 16, so just over three quarters. And uh, it's going to go all along my edging here uh, of the shelf. Seems I'm finished the shelf, but I'm using this stuff everywhere. So uh, the directions that I found on this one tell me to set the iron to 400. Uh, my iron doesn't have a 400, but it's got a 4. <laughs> I mean the 400, is, the 4 is the 400. So you just take it and you, you cut it to, to length, cut it to length, and then you just iron it on. You go slowly so that heat penetrates and melts the glue on the back of this stuff. And it'll stick on it. And then you let it cool completely, and then you can come back with the trimmer of this, and you can just run along the edge like this just like that and it'll just trim it nice and tight nice and smooth so i'm going to make sure i get it lined up on the top edge so that i can just trim the bottom and i'm just going to wait for the iron to warm up and then away we go Look at the difference. Look at the difference that makes. You know, instead of having that plywood end, it's nice, clean, looks finished. I just have to go around and trim them now once they cool. And everything will look good. I'm not gonna bore you with me trimming that off. It's kind of just monotonous. Uh, this video is running long enough as it is. But that's it, I got the shelf in. I like it, it looks good. I'm, I'm happy with how this banister railing went on here. Uh, it's not what I had envisioned the first time, but uh, as so many things go, it just didn't work out that way. So uh, I'll put the lights in there at some point, probably within the next week or two. I'd like to put the lights in there because I've got power is there so I can put the lights and switches I just got to make sure I've got switches and everything so I'll get all that done but that's that I think the next video is going to be Christina's video of how she's making these Roman shades for these windows 
which means I've got to put some trim in here, which I'll probably figure out today, and that won't take me too long to do those, I don't think. Uh, yeah, that'll be the next one. And then after that, drawers. Drawers in here. That's going to happen too. So I hope you like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Uh, share it if you can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch me do all kinds of crazy things that don't work out and I try something different. <laughs> See you next time.